right, so I just want to respectfully talk about this just in case the Cowboys do something crazy enough to to hire a guy. And who knows, man, the unknown. So the Cowboys also interviewing Jets assistant Marquan Manuel for the defensive coordinator job on uh, Thursday. They will sit him down and talk to him. Now, a little background story of him. He used to play for Mike McCarthy in 2006. And then from there, when he retired from the NFL, he was on the Seattle Seahawks roster in 2012, all the way up, I believe, into 2015-ish. And then he, he eventually got a job with the Atlanta Falcons with Dan Quinn uh, between the year of 2016-ish all the way through 2018-ish and then he bounced around he became a he was defensive coordinator there so that was a big movement for him so if we want to look at any philosophy and principles maybe we can look at Marquand's manuals uh, defense in between those years as a coordinator and then uh, he got the boot or what have you and he went to the Eagles land as their DB coach and then he got the boot from there and he went to um, the Jets to be their assistant safety coach. So uh, this is leaving no stone unturned. This could be a scrape for discovery, right? They want to pull information of what he knows from the Seattle Seahawks when he was there with the LOB. And then on top of that, since we do play Dan Quinn twice a year, why not bring in a guy far as knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and what he knows from Dan Quinn. So that is that situation there so if you're looking at a a guy that's familiar with the system that we have installed already the cowboys might be just circling the block to see what he can do right and here's the craziest thing of it all ladies and gentlemen a lot of people talk about that they don't like retreads well technically he would be a younger version of a retread i think that the cowboys are still going to go with coach Mike Zim at the end of the day I don't think that even Rex Ryan is shout out and salute to him he haven't coached in so many years right we talk about even if you miss one year how much of a hole you will have to dig yourself out of can you only imagine if you miss multiple toots of years like he did so man let me pull this up shout out to 105.3 the fan they had uh, the my news guy came out Lombardi from on the show. Anderson that Michael the Cowboys Lombardi. interviewed Rex Ryan. I knew that, yes. For the, you did know that. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, help us replace Dan Quinn. We wanted Mike Zimmer. Choppy wants brand new ideas, youth. And now you throw Rex Ryan into it, Ron Rivera as well. Well, I think it's an interesting thing. I, I, I'm, I was under the impression they were going to interview Don Martindale, too, from the Dallas, from the New York football giants, which they should. I think they've been on the phone with Sexton, his agent, and talking about bringing him in. Whether they do or not, I don't know. I think he's one of the best candidates out there because if you watch what he's done with a giant defense that isn't very talented, that's who I would hire. I think – I think Rex is at a point where, you know, he's interviewed for a few jobs now. The defensive coordinator money is getting higher than when he was a head coach money, and I'm sure it's paying a lot more than ESPN, so there's an interest there. Rivera has other years on his contract. So if Jerry decides to hire Rivera, he can do his contract. Washington will pay the bulk of it and kind of time him up with Mike, whereas if he brings in a new coach, he doesn't have to fire a, co fire a whole defensive staff. So I think there's a lot of elements in play here. Uh, you know, because of the uncertainty of where they're going to be next year. You know, um, I, Rivera has been very dogmatic in approach and trying to get a, head, a, a defense coordinator job, even though this he really hasn't coached defense in a long time. And so that would be an interesting hire if they went that way. Uh, Zimmer, I think Zimmer would be somebody that could really do a wonderful job for Mike. It would be two strong personalities in the room. They're going to have to handle that. I'm sure Zimmer's going to want to bring some of his guys with him that have worked with him before. Whether that could happen or not, I don't know. Uh, but there are a lot of good candidates between Martindale and Zimmer. They're two good candidates to me. I don't know about Rex as much because when you're out of the game as much as Rex Listen is. Listen to this part. This is the challenge you get into. If you don't work on the draft, if you don't work on the draft, like really work on the mm -hmm. draft, you lose three years of the NFL because you lose all those players. And so I think that's going to be a hard, that would be a hard thing. He could come in, and all his blitz package stuff, Martindale's already had it and taken it to another yeah. level. The news.
So basically, it, that, that's a great piece by Michael Lombardi. Shout out to 105.3 The Fan with that um, unbelievable insight there. Salute to those boys over there. I, I would say this, though. If you're going to go get Rex, you might as well get Wink. I, I think that they're going to run the variations of the same kind of caliber of defense and if you're going to go get anyone who knows the system with the Jerry Jones philosophy and principle, you might as well get Mike Zim, right? So it's so many conundrums, man, with this whole piece of looking for a defensive coordinator. The craziest thing of it all, if you wait too long, it can come back to bite you, right? Because you got to get prepared and be ready for the draft and also have everything cemented down on your overall principle of what you want to do with this team. So, man, those are valuable rubies, man, from 105.3 to fans. Shout out to Michael Lombardi once again. Uh, Cowboy Nation, I, I get it. The Marquand uh, manual, that's just more of them ch just trying to leave no stone unturned. I don't know if they're really, really serious about that. And on top of that, everything always circle back to money with the Jones family. I don't know why it's, do why it's like that, but that's just how it is, Cowboy Nation. Uh, post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. Uh, I'm going to say this again. I like the temperament of Rex, Ryan. I do like that uh, uh, man that the, he's going to demand respect, right? He's going to also want discipline. And like I said, even with Mike Zim, He's a Territorian, right? Even Mike Zim is a Territorian. He's going to be down on the sideline making sure that these guys are in tune with the game and making sure that these guys make impact plays and movements out there on the field. And those are things that we like. But unfortunately, everything right now is, is in that shadowy place with me with the Cowboys because we just don't know how the Jones family is going to operate with this. There's so many divides on who we should go get and everybody either long in the tube or retreads or things like that. And you just don't know. You can rip the Band-Aid off and say, hey, Al Harris, let's roll with you. Or you can rip the Band-Aid off and say, hey, Aiden Dirty, even though you're going to Seattle land to be the D.C. there, I heard news that they are really, really high on him. But what about all of this? Man, Cowboy Nation, post me your thoughts, post me your concerns down below. It's get weirder and weirder each day. But that's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys.